morning everyone now we are knee deep into the summer with plans and kids all over and things like that so there's gonna be different kinds of vlogs but today I'm gonna to be working with the kids and uh, their their first times working in the garden so let's do it uh, chicken foods empty so we have another one this one can you yeah that goes inside one, two, perfect. City boys struggling a bit. First time with the wheelbarrow. There you go, you're fair. Well, that's one way. Okay. So let's see. Right, this is the empty container. I want to fill it with sand. We brought here sand for the quail. This sand is builder sand. It's sand made from rocks. It's not the brown ocean sand. I always use the brown ocean sand until I learned that it could have salt there that doesn't uh, agree with the quail, with the chickens and the quails that can disturb them. So this is builder sand. Let's see. Let me just make sure there's no eggs here and then we'll see how long it takes them to find it. Okay, this quail also needs sand. Here we go. Keep yourself clean, okay? I don't want to put the sand too close to where the water is and the water hangs here because then when they play in the sand, they get their water all filthy. So I'm gonna move it a little bit away from the water. Okay, enjoy your sand. So coming up in Beta's Mountain, the boys are coming home from Yeshiva and I have been planned for this back, this back area. Um, I really like it that it's like secluded and in nature, but I can't really um, think of how I want it to look. Sorry, the neighbor's banging. Uh, Neve Girl's coming back on the 10th. So, yay. So they're prepping the buildings for them. Um, so, it's a good like screen protector and privacy protector from the neighbors. I don't need, I don't know if I need that much. This is a really, really, really big area. So, I think I'm gonna clear out most of this especially down to this corner because this is also where the mongoose hides and I'd like to see what other things I can do in the yard so I think we're gonna be emptying lots of this lots of these bushes we're gonna be em taking off emptying now let's take a look at our progress in the garden we're starting to make a path and see how much garden space we have. It's really exciting. This is what we took out so far. We're gonna keep going. So we found a few treasures under here. Feathers, one of the chicks were killed here. Feathers over there, a pile where other chicks uh, were killed unfortunately. This is a tree stump that we took down and we got this beautiful, beautiful outer bark. Look at this. See that? Isn't that beautiful? I wonder what we can do with it. Like, I think they used to use it as a, as like a parchment to write on or something. I'm not exactly sure. But, ouch. Anyway, here's another one. 
and we found this. Ah? Careful. Hey, where? Maya? It's the side of Okay. And he's gonna teach everyone else. You need one brave soul to teach everybody. <laughs> I love this. This is this is so beautiful. How Hashem gives each bird instincts that they need to survive and you know take care of themselves I think we cleared enough for today it till here was full we emptied this whole area we just getting started we have this huge huge area it's almost like double doubling the size of the garden so we're starting here we'll see how this feels we're leaving all this for a privacy wall and uh, we're leaving this as well for a privacy wall meanwhile okay mid-afternoon hot really hot uh, I have a plan for the kids um, I have my nieces and nephew on campus uh, for a few days now in the summer and we have a big trampoline and I was wondering if I could use the old garden hoses to make a water trampoline like to have like a sprinkler trampoline so I'm gonna go try to figure that out let's see if it will work hey mrs. cat what are you doing here This is all the old hose that I kept in the storage area where the watering thing is. And take it with me to the house. And let's see if we can make this happen. So we're hooking up the hose. Aaron took out off the pieces. What pieces? Let me show us the pieces. Yeah, so we took out the old connectors and then these are going to connect the hose from the sides and this one will bring it upwards. My other sister in law, hey, Chami, she's connecting the hoses um, to the size that we need. We measured it. So we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Homemade water trampoline. Ah, and this is a trampoline, by the way. So, this is what we're trying to work on. Moment of truth. We are going to try this out, our homemade contraption, while the kids are uh, taking, trying to get rid of this whole pile. Whoever gets rid of it gets nice and hot and can try out our trampoline. So, kids are taking it out. Okay, right, these are the boys who are going to figure this out. I see on time. Minute, meanwhile, wait, wait, before it's ready. One, two, three. Woo! Perfect. 
יאללה, קח, למשוך. אתה יכול לארגן את הברכה? ברגים? אז תביא איזה ברגים, בוא נראה. Wait, Chami, keep the two pieces out, these two. נחבר את זה לפה. רגע, לא, לא, זהו, זה תעזוב, זה אמור להיות למעלה. זה בצד הזה. אתה יכול לקנות את כולם ארטיקים. כמה צריך? זה שלושים. אה, היום קיבלו? לא. אילו צריך להיות למעלה. לא אכלת? אין פיצה במקפיץ? אה, אז צריך לקנות. כן, לא בבוץ, תעבירו את זה, תמשכו את זה יותר אלינו. שמה? אוקיי, אז אנחנו נתן את זה לפלסטיק. אני Moment of truth, turning on the water. Okay, we got a little bit of a issue in the connection. Connection. So most of the water is coming. Well, it works out like this, doesn't it? It's coming straight up. All right, we got to fix that connection. Elisheva, are you excited to try it? <laughs> hey, it's working! We got water. We got a tra water trampoline. Perfect! We did it! What? <laughs> Okay, so this is working absolutely amazing. We have... Okay. All right, is it fun? <laughs> Hi! All right, we're almost finished here. We see already the ground. All the boys are now going to take this to the garbage. Do we see the water coming? <laughs> this is the look from the yard on top. All clear. 